Now, if there's one thing we like doing better than hunting elk, it's eating elk. And today I wanna to share one of our favorite recipes on the Camp Chef Pellet Grill, and that's elk tenderloin with a Saskatoon reduction. Now, like many recipes on the pellet grill, this one starts with a good marinade. So we're gonna start with a quarter cup of olive oil, quarter cup of balsamic vinegar, quarter cup of low sodium soy, and a quarter cup of Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. I think that's how you say it. That's how I'm saying it anyways. Then we've got four cloves of garlic, just kind of mashed up. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of honey in. Don't worry too much about measuring. I'm gonna take some thyme, and we use dry um, spices actually, which may sound weird, but they do seem to impart a better flavor. So, a tablespoon of thyme, and I'm gonna put a tablespoon of rosemary in as well. And I've got that. Now I've got some dry mustard. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of that in. And I've got about two teaspoons of fresh ground black pepper here. And the final thing I'm gonna put in is actually a gala apple that I've mashed up. And that's just gonna add some nice sweetness to it. So now I'm just gonna take and mix this all up really well. So now, I've got my two tenderloins here. I'm gonna put them in the Ziploc. There you go. I'm just gonna pour my marinade right over top of that. Just make sure your marinade's kind of mixed all over that meat, getting it all. And while it's sitting in the fridge, what I'm gonna do is maybe two or three times, I'm just gonna flip it over just so that marinade gets everywhere. So we'll see you in 24 hours. So I've got the Woodwind 24 pellet grill here set at 300 degrees with a smoke of six. And we're gonna use direct flame. So this actually controls our flame. So we can go direct or indirect. And in this case, we're gonna go direct. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna set these right on the grill. Now we're gonna put a temperature probe in here as well. I'm only going to put one probe in because both pieces of meat are the same size, so not a big deal. One will give us all the information we need, so we want to get it up to about 129 degrees is where we want to finish it. Well, the elk tenderloin is almost ready and it's time for me to make the Saskatoon reduction sauce. So we're going to first combine one and a half tablespoons of canola oil and two tablespoons of freshly chopped ginger. And we just want to cook that ginger until it gets fragrant. Now we're going to add in two cups of Saskatoons. Now the cool thing is I picked these Saskatoons on the same property the elk came from. So stir these and cook them for about two to three minutes on medium heat. Well that's nice and juicy and so now it's time to add in one and a half cups of homemade port and two thirds of a cup of Merlot. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to simmer this until it's reduced by half. So now it's reduced by half, so we're gonna add in two tablespoons of hot sauce and then two thirds of a cup of cranberry juice. And we wanna boil that for about five minutes. So once it's finished boiling, we can just taste it, add a bit of salt and pepper if we like. Let's take a look at those and see how they look. Oh, beautiful. Just gonna pull that probe out, set it off to the side here. Now, I'm just going to put these on a platter and I'm going to take them inside but what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them rest for about five minutes before we actually cut them up. So one trick with meat, especially big pieces of meat like this, is just to let them rest. That just sets all that juice in them. These are going to be good. You know the great thing about cooking with those temperature probes though is you know you've got perfect meat every time so let's check that out though. Oh my, look at that. Just a perfect rare cook. We like wild meat about 129 degrees but that is just perfect 
I'm going to finish cutting this up and then we'll put the reduction sauce on it and we'll be eating. Well, TJ got the tenderloin all cut up and now to add the reduction sauce. Oh, oh look at that. There we go. Doesn't that look spectacular?